Most producers don't care about these, but they really should because these are the most underrated tool that all of the top sample makers and producers are secretly using. In today's video, I'm gonna show you why, and if you stick around till the end, I'll show you an alternative method that you can use to get a similar sound to synths and pedals without the need for them or any VST plugins. So what you just saw was a bunch of platinum producers using synths and pedals. To understand why these producers are using them, we first need to look at what they can do. Guitar pedals are just like effects plugins, but in physical form. Each pedal has a different effect that it can create and is designed to be chained together with other pedals to create an effects chain, just like you would in FL Studio. So why not just use plugins then? Because I don't know any VST plugins that can do this. Pedals help producers create ideas that are so unexplainable and so unique that you wouldn't be able to recreate them if you tried. In the middle of all the chaos that these small metal boxes create are genuine moments of magic that would never have been discovered without them. Let's take a look at some of the most unique and powerful pedals that I definitely think are worth the investment. The first one is the Chase Bliss Blooper, one of the most popular pedals among the elite sample makers and producers, and it's not hard to see why. This thing is a game changer. So I just came up with this pretty cool melody. And it sounds pretty decent, but it's quite basic. And in order to make it sound a lot more cool, it's gonna take a lot of manipulating, chopping, reversing, and a lot of time and effort in FL Studio to try and take it to that level that might not even exist. But with the blooper, we can instantly start messing with this melody. So let's see what happens. So this is just standard. Effects. We've just slowed it down, reversed it in like one second. And already I'm hearing a bunch of different ideas on this. Most producers probably think the best way to add bounce to their melody is to sidechain it. And while that is a valid method, I actually think the best way is with delay. So what if you had a delay that could also add random pitch shifting and filtering effects on top as well? And that is where the next pedal comes in the Chase Bliss Ferme. What this pedal does is take delay to the next level. Let's add the Ferme into the mix now and just see what that can do. That little top line it's added is crazy. Bit of chorus. The Ferme is creating this really unique delay effect that comes in and out with different rhythms depending on what sound is being fed into it. So it's not just adding a delay on top, but it's taking our sound and weaving these sort of intermittent artifacts into it seamlessly and giving us a completely new idea to play with. Those are just two of the pedals out there which can make creating melodies at the highest level quick and easy. Let's make a beat using our pedals and our synths and then we're going to make another beat using my alternative method, which all you guys watching can try for yourselves right now. Let's get into it. Let's just record that, literally just simple minor chord arc. Go 130 BPM. So we're on the blooper now. And we can just real quick mess this up. Take that, drag that in. It's a simple starter. That took me literally like two, like five minutes, not even that. And like, I was just messing around just with one sound. Like that's just scratching the surface at what's possible with these things. And already that sounds way better than something I could have made with any plugin or anything like that. And this is my point. It's just, you just get a better result quicker and easier. And we can just develop this idea further very easily. <laughs> How can we use? Pause that there. And we could even change the pitch of this. We could mess around with this like a lot more and run effects for it and do all sorts to it. So I'm going to add like a couple more layers and then we'll flip it and I'll show you guys how it can sound when it's done with this method right here that all the top producers use, by the way. This is the workflow. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's put that in as well. That's gonna be our, like our little like effects accent layer or whatever. That's kind of nice. A little wobby wobby. Got a couple little chops here I, I, that I quite like. You could say that's done. That's a decent little starting idea. The only thing I want to see in there is just like a little bit more of a progression. It's a nice sound. We could do that. Easy. So yeah, there you go. That right there is a pretty fine melody. Obviously right now it doesn't sound like anything that special, but we're gonna put it through the process now of just like flipping it. In the end, we'll have a final, like really fine beat basically. So let's do it. So this is our sample. We're gonna run it through a fruity slicer. And this is just a quick idea. This is not meant to be like my best work. I just wanna show you guys how easy it is to make sound fire when you've got this like stuff basically. So yeah, run it through a fruity slicer channel. Time stretch it if we want. That could sound cool. And change the key of it as well. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? It sounds hard already. Let's quickly put some drums on this. Uh, so let's go into the MPC floppy disc drum kit, which me and 44 Floor have got coming soon. an AOA on this shit. And put a synth bass in here. We're gonna use the Moog Flow one here. Final little few touches from the Analog Elements kit, which is what we're gonna be using for the next beat. That's really the easiest way to get a crazy beat and melody like that is if you have the gear, it's so easy. That's why people use it. It's just easy. And the result is just way better in the end as well. This beat is so easy to rap on because it's so simple at its core. It's just playing the two chords over and over again. But because the sound design and the sound choice is so, so weird and unique, it just instantly stands out and just becomes like a really fire beat. So that is why we created analog elements and kits like Synth Palace and Yokai to give you guys access to these type of sounds. You don't need to have the crazy simps and pedals behind you to still achieve a level of that sound and i'm going to demonstrate that for you guys in the next beat i'm going to just use these kits and show you guys what you can make with them if you want to get the sounds we're going to use link down below in the description all right let's get into it let's make the second beat let's start with a one shot i like that it's got a little bit of a like drift to it which is nice fake delay bro Okay, I don't like this key, but. Simple melody right there, sounds great. I reckon this one. Yeah, the key with these melodies as well, just in making melodies in general that sound good for using with beats, you need to have an element of repetitiveness, but then also some cool little things in there to switch it up. So it can't just be constantly different. Like that's why it's so popular to stick with two chords because you can do so much with two chords. So now we just need some phrases. I love these pedal ones, they're just, they're so good. Mm.
Reverb on this. I'm also gonna put a tape mellow fire on it as well. Juno chorus as well. Fuck it. This is like my go-to effects chain. Oh, this bounce is stupid. Fat synth bass over it again. So yeah, we've got them two beats right there. One made with analog gear only, and one with a kit. That's what the top producers use, proven. I feel like I've also proven something today. You don't need that to make fire beats still. You can still compete at that level and not even have the gear. You know what I'm saying? The kits that we've been making, myself and other creators, we've been making some crazy shit, man. So if you want to get the sound kit we used to make that second beat, it's called Analog Elements. It's out right now. It's just dropped. We currently got a first week sale running. Check out our link down below in the description. Check it out. Yeah, man. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. I want you guys to let me know down in the comments which beat you think was the best, which one you preferred. And if you guys have any analog gear yourselves, let me know what you've got and what you like about it and all that stuff down in the comments below let's talk about it i'll see you in the next one have a great day peace